If you've clicked this video, you're one of the many who are having troubles learning how to install new power pole connectors, or maybe you haven't even tried yet. Maybe you're just in this point where you want to learn how to install power pole connectors. Today, I'm going to tell you four easy steps to installing power pole connectors, and those steps are cut it, strip it, crimp it, and click it. It'll kick in. But along the way, we're also going to talk about a couple of tips and tricks that I've learned over the years of installing power pole connectors. And I do hope this video helps you. If it does, don't forget to consider hitting like and subscribe. Let's get started. You know, we will talk about cut it, strip it, crimp it, and click it in just a moment. But hey, what do we need in order to get all this to work? And number one, you need some kind of power pole connectors. You could use whatever you want, but I highly recommend avoiding the aftermarket power pole connectors as they typically don't fit correctly. And also, and more importantly, the silver plating on both the connector that goes on the wire, as well as the connector internally to the power pole connector on the not so legitimate ones or the aftermarket ones, they tend to corrode fairly easily, which can cause a lot of problems down the road. It's better to invest a little money now and get the good stuff and then to have a lot of heartaches down the road. Next up, we need some kind of wire today. And today we're gonna use PowerWorks 12 gauge wire. I'll talk about why in just a few moments. Finally, we're gonna need a cool stripper. This stripper is from Germany. And also, we're gonna need some kind of crimper for the actual power poles. And I use this West Mountain Radio crimper. It has three settings on it for 15 amps, 30 amps, and 45 amps. Again, that's the connector type. We'll talk about that more in just a few moments. Additionally, you might need a knife or a scissors or something to cut down this middle slit here on the wire. This brings us to our first step, cut it. We need to determine the length of wire that we're gonna use for our power pole connectors, and we need to cut the wire. Today, I'll use just a small amount of this, which I've actually already cut. Go ahead and bust out them strippers because this is gonna be a fun one. I know what you're thinking, and the answer is no. I'm talking about wire strippers, and at least when I use wire strippers, there's a semi-small chance that I'll make a real connection. You might need to separate the red and the black wires, and that's where a knife would come in handy or a scissors. Just be careful in between there. And then you're gonna get two wires that are separated like this. I've already stripped away one end, and that's the step is strip it. But the reason I did that is I kind of wanted to show you approximately how long it should be. And it's about a half of an inch in length, maybe just a little less. Furthermore, I take my fellow Made in Germany strippers, and I'm probably saying that name wrong, but uh, all I have to do is I have to set them at right around the setting nine, maybe that's 10, and just put them in and strip them. It makes it super easy, and these are good, especially if you have like a bad wrist, for example. So now we have two wires that are stripped, and as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm kind of braiding them together. I'm taking my thumb and I'm twisting and basically pinching them between my thumb and my index finger. Just to recap, step one was cut it, step two was strip it, and now we're on step three, crimp it. Okay, ultimately, and this step might just be a little bit longer for an explanation, but basically you're gonna have power pole connectors and you want them to be the same orientation. As you can see here, they're not. As you can see here, they're not. What this all comes down to is crimping it. If you crimp one of these connectors up and one of these connectors down, of course you're not gonna have the right uh, layout or configuration for your power pole connectors. Let me show you an easy way to be able to do this so it all just makes sense. I like to take a look at the actual power pole connectors and I like to make it so that the A faces the correct way. That right there is an A for the official power pole Anderson connector. And here's how I do it. Black on the left, red on the right, crimp it down tight. Again, black on the left, red on the right, crimp it down tight. And once you have them in the correct order and orientation, black on the left, red on the right, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna notice that the red adapter, the way it sits, has a little bit of a squared or rectangular hump that rolls down it, and it's recessed on the black one. And we're just gonna put those two together right now. The red should slide into the black. This is looking really good and fairly easy. I think you could see how easy it's gonna be because now, as long as we have these connectors facing down as we crimp, we should be good. So let's go ahead and put on our black one here. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my index finger and thumb to twist just to make sure I can get everything in here. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what if I have a wire that doesn't fit into this connector? It's too small or it's too big. Well, then you might need to go down to 15 amp or you need to go up to 45 amps so you could fit larger wire in. 
30 amp is good up to 10 gauge wire and 12 gauge fits nearly perfectly. I've already twisted this, so we're pretty good here just to go ahead and put on the connector for the power pole. And I just wanna make sure that I get nearly all. Sometimes you get one little strand that doesn't like exactly go in, but I wanna to try to get nearly all of the wire inside the connector so we can crimp it. And that's exactly it. And you might be thinking, oh, that's wrong though. It's facing up. Remember, black on the left, red on the right, crimp it down tight. So I have the actual connector facing down, you know, the arm, the, the grip facing down with the black wire on the left. So go ahead and do the same thing here with the red wire. Make sure that wire is nice and tight and bundled together and then just slide on the connector. Now we actually crimp it. So again, these are 30 amp power pull connectors. So something like this, this West Mountain Radio Crimper allows me to do 15 amp, 30 amp, and 45 amp. Since this is a 30, you guessed it. I'm just gonna place it in the slot here and there's actually a groove or a little bit of a hole toward the back of the crimper on the bottom, which I'm going to face down, slide this in. And when I feel like I have it slid in all the way to the back so it can't go any further, I'm just gonna crimp it down. To me, I think that's acceptable. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now you might think, hey, we're gonna go on to step four, which is gonna be click it. Before we do that, if you're using anything like uh, heat shrink, for example, you might want to slide it over the wires right now. Kind of like Adam K6ARK did on his battery right here. Remember, step one was cut it, step two was strip it, step three was crimp it, and step four now is going to be click it. To click it, you might have some issues depending on what wire you use. Let me give you a demonstration. So to demonstrate this, let's take a look again at the PowerWorks wire, which is right here, and this BN Tech Go wire, which is a silicone wire. And just picture when I'm trying to put this in a connector, there's a little bit more rigidity or stiffness on the power works wire. And that's why I like to use it as opposed to something like the silicone wire, which will tend to bend. So if you're going to use the silicone wire, you might need to use an all or I'll link below. Uh, I believe power works has a insertion tool that works pretty well. The last step click it is super easy. If you've remembered any of the rhyming today, because check this out. Black on the left, red on the right, click it down tonight. And basically I have the black wire on the left, I have the red wire on the right. Remember that means the little cusp or the, the hand is facing down. And then the same thing with the power pole connectors. Black on the left, red on the right, and we should be able to click it in tonight. And we'll hear an audible click. So here I am with just my finger on the black and I'm gonna push it in and apply some pressure. If you only wanna do one at a time, that's also fine. And you'll feel it actually slide in. What's happening right here is it's, it's sliding over the metal piece that's internal to the power pole Anderson connector. And then we should hear it click. Just like you heard right there. That means it's in place and it's not going anywhere. We'll do the same thing with the red one. There it is. I hope that this four-step process helped you in learning how to do power pole connectors. It really is simple. Some of the steps could be difficult, but over time, you'll master them. Remember, today's four steps are cut it, strip it, crimp it, click it. And along the way, black on the left, red on the right, click it in tonight. Thanks for watching the channel. Again, if you like this, consider hitting the like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time.